Hey guys, the X9 Green here. Going to do a quick video on a different vehicle that I haven't done on before. It's a 2016 Audi Q5. And um, it's my dad's vehicle and it's never had a transmission service on it in any way, shape, or form. It's at 93,000 miles. I don't have the vehicle here to show you it, but it started shifting a little bit weird. He thought it's never had a, tr never had a transmission service. And what I read sounds like the manufacturer of the actual um, automatic transmission, which is the eight speed um, recommends, I think around 60,000 and he was at 93 and then Audi and BMW and Dodge, they all kind of use it and they have some different suggestions, but um, this kit I got was really hard to find. Actually, I couldn't find it in any of the big auto park stores in my city and I have all the big ones. They all had to order it or didn't have it and all this stuff. But um, there was a great video that showed how to do the transmission on the Audi. And he recommended this kit from ECS Tuning. I'm not sp I'm not sponsored by them or this company. Um, this was the kit and it looks really nice. It's got a nice gasket and the filter. And this is the company. And it comes with... Uh, the screws ECS tuning has a bunch of other stuff that you can order too, but I ordered this off their website. And here's the part number that fits the Audi Q5 2016 and maybe some other things. But um, I saved some of the fluid. I'm going to show you the fluid that came out. It actually looked pretty good. I'm going to show you that and compare it to some of the other fluids that I've done in the past just so you guys can get an idea. So hold on for a second. Okay, the fluid that came out of this was kind of, if it was brand new, it was kind of like the goldish looking, kind of almost looks like motor oil color. And um, this is it right here. It still had some goldish tint to it. It didn't look horrible. Uh, so it's got like seven years, 93,000 miles on it. It didn't um, smell too burnt. And I'll uh, put it here in a second on the paper towel so you can see it, but I'm just going to compare it. So that's the Audi, 93,000 miles. Um, a similar food that looked like the, about the same to it, sort of, I think. It looks a little goldish. It looks darker in here, and it kind of looks red. But this was out of a 2019 Nissan Armada. It only had 60,000, and it was quite a bit darker in comparison to the Audi. This is... Um, 61,000 on my Ford F-150, and this was kind of usually the red, so you can see some of the red tint. And that one looked pretty bad for only 60,000, and I do tow with that. And then um, this is 98,000 on my Kia Sorento, 10-year. And this was probably the worst one, but that's kind of surprising kind of how bad this one looks. Um because it had about the same, it definitely had more years on it though, but about the same mileage. And I don't ever tell with this compared to back to the Audi that was still pretty goldish looking. And then I'll put some drops on the paper towel so you can see them also. Okay, so I did these in the order of mileage, least to the most. Here's the Nissan Armada, looked right at 60,000. Looked pretty dark. Next to the Ford F-150, right at 61,000. Um, the Audi Q5 at 93,000. You can see in the paper towel, it looks pretty dang good. And then the uh, Kia Sorento, 98,000. So, the Audi is definitely the best looking out of them and it has besides the key the most mileage so if you're past the 60,000 I wouldn't freak out too bad because um, looks like it it's holding itself pretty good and like I said it didn't smell burnt and uh, it had never been changed before so alrighty guys thanks for watching